Yo, what is up guys, and it's video I'll be showing you how you can over-edit in DaVinci Resolve just like this. As you guys saw, uh, I will go be going over the blue build-up, uh, the zoom-in build-up as well, and uh, the pre-shake that like just adds more intensity to it, and obviously I'll be going over the impact as well. And uh, yeah, so first I'm going to show you the velocity. Uh, make sure to unlink the clips uh, and while you're at it just delete the the audio track of the clip it won't be necessary for over edits trust me and uh, go to where uh, the character gets the kill uh, click control R for retem controls at a speed point on the kill and go where the uh, like uh, the character pulls out its gun so it would be right here for me or right here as you can see the gun has been pulled out uh, I'm at a speed point on that as well and uh, go in the middle so that would be right here and uh, yeah so now that you guys have three speed speed points uh, one in the middle one on the kill and then one where the gun gets pulled out the first speed you will want to make it 50 uh, the second speed you'll want to make it 400 and uh, Pull this back so the last speed point uh, lines up with the kill and this speed right here the last one should be 50 make sure the kill is 60 frames so since it's at 7.0 you want to find 8.0 and uh, that, would, that would be right here and then just cut out the rest so this is how it should look like with the override of velocity so it has a lot of time to build up and uh, that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys right now. Uh, get this trimming tool right here and uh, trim on the kill and uh, yeah it's perfectly lined up and go 40 frames back so since it's at 7.0 it'd be uh, 620 so that'd be right here. And uh, yeah, just trim it on that. And go into the open effects tab and type in Lux. Uh, you will need the Magic Bullet Lux build up or build, uh, plugin for this. So if you guys don't have it, make sure to go download it. There will be a video on how to get it in the description. Uh, go into the effects uh, tab and then uh, edit look. And right here, uh, I do have insane blue build up. And uh, as you guys can see now, it looks very clean right here. And I made this one by myself, so I didn't copy anyone or anything. And uh, make sure that the at the beginning of like when the when you guys first add on the looks, so on, at the beginning, you guys make the strength zero and uh, go around to the middle of like the clip that you guys just cut and make the strength. Uh, change the strength strength to 100 so uh, it should look like this it will lag because it's a plugin installed and uh, yeah this is how it looks basically slow mo and uh, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to add the zoom in build up so uh, go into the effects tab right here drag adjustment clip and just uh, stretch this out across like the whole thing uh, that should be good and uh, just go into like the middle or something and basically go into your file explorer where you guys download my presets and uh, here's the presets I have for this tutorial and here's the uh, it's I actually named it zoom out but it's actually zoom in let me rename it uh, it's, it's a zoom in build up I was kind of stupid when I named this Zoom in build up and uh, just right here as you guys can see not all the keyframes have yet appeared so uh, just trim this more like that and yes here are the four uh, keyframes right here so there is the first keyframe is right here and the second one then the third one then the fourth one on the fourth one what you're gonna want to do is add a marker 
uh, just drag the adjustment clip down and make sure the marker lines up with the kill and just trim this so it's as long as the clip that was cut in the middle so this is how it should look like and uh, yeah as you guys can see it does do a perfect job of actually zooming in like that and then zooming back out and uh, just trim it at the end and then you guys won't need this part right here so uh, yeah now I'll show you how to do the pre-shake so go back into the adjustment clip and uh, go into your file explorer and you'll find uh, where is it uh, over at pre-shake right here uh, I don't or drag it onto like the onto the project make sure the amplitude starts off at zero and uh, go to the end and make sure it is 0.15 and just if there's a middle keyframe just on keyframe it and uh yeah it adds more intensity to the build up uh obviously i can't play because there are too many effects onto it and it'll just lag out everything and uh yeah we're almost done here uh and go well now i'm going to show you how, how to do the impact uh go into the uh, uh effects library right here and drag on an adjustment clip over top of the kill and just trim it so it's as short as the kill part which would be 60 frames and uh, go into the fusion tab and this is actually an effect that I dropped a couple days ago it is the distort god impact uh, it has basically uh, two shakes distort and a blur you will need the sapphire and bcc plugins for this I forgot to mention that uh, and uh, yeah, this is how it should look like. And if you guys are not happy with how the distort looks, uh, it should look fine. And uh, yeah, that's just about it. Last thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, the main color correction for like just like the consistent color correction. So make uh just uh what's it called make sure that you have selected all three clips right here and make a new compound clip and now go back into the open effects and type for or search for looks and here uh you guys should have looks and edit look and i'm gonna just choose the sphere 7 god over edit this is kind of like rainbow's uh what's it of uh this kind of like rainbow's color correction but it's not exactly the same and make sure that the strength sometimes people don't like it when it's too uh strong so make it like 75 or 80 so i'm just gonna put it at 80. as you guys can see it makes it like it makes it look more like the actual clip and uh yeah this is how it should look like i'm just gonna drag on a sound effect uh, I have a sound effects folder if you guys don't have that I recommend that you do that because it keeps everything nice and organized and right here and make sure that like the hardest part of the sound effect should be right here uh, lines up with the with the kill and yeah if you guys uh, want to make it like more like an over edit i would recommend that you cut the song on where the first adjustment clip starts and cut it on the beat drop and just for this just take away this part right here and uh fade out to the first part oh. fade it out a bit it doesn't have to be too strong of to fade out I think that should be good and yeah this is basically it uh i think maybe i have another sound effects in the override tutorial folder yeah override it build up too make sure to drag this over top of the or on the bottom of like where you just cut and just make sure to fade it in a bit and uh yeah it should look good 
I think that's just about it. And uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to uh, hit that like button, obviously subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Comment what other tutorials you want to see. See ya.